Are you looking to make some fun family videos, but you don't have any technical experience? Well, you've come to the right place. Hello, this is Andrew Chase from Ask Andy Anything, and this is part two, or a complimentary video to creative things that single parents can do, even if they don't have a lot of money. And you don't have to be a single parent for this. This part works for anybody, just anybody that wants to make some basic videos using things they probably already have around their house. And there'll be some examples of videos that I've done with my kids just some music video type things. That has just been a lot of fun, especially now during the pandemic. It's all about creativity and having fun. I will list in the description below all the products that are mentioned in this video. And the only company that I'm affiliated with at this point is Pivo, but I only review and recommend things that I think are good and that I've used. And most of these items are things I picked up over the past few years, mainly for traveling internationally. I hope you enjoy. So when you buy Pivo, you download the app and that allows you to Bluetooth set it up so that when you have it on a tripod, always put the phone in horizontally. I know a lot of people like to take their videos like this, like for Instagram and things like that. What it does is when you want to edit it, it looks unprofessional. It's called landscape when you turn it horizontally like this. And then vertically is portrait mode. For pictures, yes, you can you know take it like this. It doesn't really matter for pictures. But when it comes to shooting video, always have it in landscape mode. So you put it in here, you tighten it, so it follows me. I said it follows me. You gotta get your face, your face has to be in that thing. So yeah, there it goes. Hey, Pivo. Pivo. Hey, say hi to the folks. Say hi to everybody. All right, I don't know why Pivo is going over there. Oh, maybe it's looking at my head over there, the thing. Are you looking at the wrong head? I'm not really sure what's happening with the Pivo. I think it's confused because of the, uh, because it's seeing me over here. It's that, it's that intuitive. Yeah, so now it's, yeah, now it's pulling in with me over here. And the Pivo is great if you want to get in the picture as well. You know, you have it set up in the tripod, it follows you around, but you really don't need this. I just got a lot of these, this technology recently. So I figured I'd throw it all together into this video. Although I could do actually separate videos on each one, but I'm not trying to be the uh, technology guy. There's plenty of people out there that you can find videos on, on each one of these items that I'm talking about. I just trying to give you an idea of some of the things you can easily use. And it, oh, I know here's something that's great. I have a green screen behind me. It, it, it's so easy. Here, anything green will work. You can go over to like a Rite Aid or something like that, and they have these green pieces of uh, like card. They're not cardboard, but they're they're thicker than regular paper. Ones that are green. You can just put those up on the wall, and there you have green screen. And kids freaking love the green screen because you can put anything onto the back of it, and you can make a whole adventure. And that's the thing. If you want to go to the Bahamas, you want to go to Switzerland or wherever you want to go, you can do that. It'd be so much fun for the kids. Well, okay, everybody, we're going to pretend like we're skiing. Everyone get into your heavy coat, go up against the wall and, and pretend like you're skiing or whatever. I mean, if you have some poles, you can do that. It, it doesn't really matter. Then you just add in the background, which I'll tell you about how to do that in a second. So we've got the Pivo, you don't necessarily need. We've got the green screen. And of course, you want to have a tripod. And this is, you know, my expensive camera, but you don't need to, you know, go out and buy something expensive to have fun. Like I said, your, your phone, I think the eight and higher if it's an iPhone, and I don't know anything about Android, so I couldn't tell you which, which one or Samsung or whatever works. You don't even need, like I said, you don't need the Pivo and get just this little bad boy here. Well, then when I travel, I like to videotape myself. You know, I travel by myself a lot. This thing was like 15 bucks on Amazon. You can just wrap it around a pole or something like that. I and mean, this is all you need. You can go out, you don't even need to have a tripod, put it onto something and then boom, you're making it. Or you can be the, you can be filming it, just holding it like this and use this as a personal tripod. If you want to steady it, tighten around your, your wrist like this and that'll hold it steady. You don't even have to pay for the, the balancers or, or those, those sorts of things. The next thing I want to talk about is something that's super cool. 
the Rode Go microphone, and Rode is one of the most famous makers of microphones and wireless microphones. This is a Bluetooth, and this one, you don't even need a microphone, it's got its own microphone. You know, this is usually like the microphone you would just, you know, lavalier, you just, you just put on here, plug it in like so. As you can see here, it has a speaker right in it. So you can just put this on. I've never tried it like this. It's really up to you. Obviously, this is better than this. I don't even remember what this is called, but this little dealio to keep from the microphone being too sharp. This softens it up. This is an all-in-one Ceramonic, I believe it's pronounced, an LC-C35. And what's cool about this is you just plug it into your input here, and then the other one goes into your receiver. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. Um, it's just giving you some, some ideas of some things are relatively inexpensive. I think this was under $50. I must have gotten a contact high when I said that it was around 50 bucks because it's not even close. I think I bought it for about 240, 260. But what I'm noticing online, and I bought it uh, a year or so ago, I'm noticing there's a lot of competitors that are offering it for some under $100. So maybe you want to check those out. I'll look into it later. For how light it is, you could pick up and go anywhere and you just you know I use this little this little baggie here to keep all my stuff all, all the um, different doohickeys that's the technical word for it so you can put it on here it doesn't matter whatever you're using as a tripod and then you can just tighten down this or lay it loose doesn't really matter now you're a professional cameraman or woman and so they'll be speaking into this or into the microphone that connects to this while you're filming yeah, I love technology, but I also don't like paying a lot for it. And if you do have a camera like this, uh, and you want to do the Bluetooth thing, it plugs into here, and it's really cool. This thing slides right on the top. It slides right in here, and uh, you're good to go. I mean, obviously, with this, you'd want to have one of those other tripods, but, but you can take this off and still use this tripod with this one if you wanted to. And when we're talking about fun stuff, I actually, I didn't buy these, but my uh, my friend, shout out to Schmeb, got me these for Christmaka. There's two of them. There's one right over here that you can't see. And these are just portable lights that, uh, they're USB, so you um, you know, can plug them into just about, you know, a portable charger. You got your phone, you got your tripod, you got your lights, you got your screen, you got your microphone, and like I said, you don't even need any of those, but let's just say that looking to make this as high grade a video as possible. You know, this is one of the ways to do it. Once you've shot the film, what I use to edit is Final Cut Pro, but it's basically iMovie on steroids. And iMovie comes for free if you get an Apple. Or I used to have a PC, but I don't remember the software that comes with it. I think it's movies, Windows Movie Player or something like that. Anyway, it's pretty much the same, but what you're gonna use, if you have a green screen, uh, there's a thing that's called chroma key or keyer. And all you do is once you import your video that has your green screen into your computer, then you just go to the special effects and you find the keyer. And you just drag that over on top of the, the green screen video and anything, and then you'll add another layer of whatever you want as the actual background to be. And then it'll instantly will put you in that background, just like I have right now with my Ask Andy Anything background. But let's say you don't wanna do green screen, you just wanna do regular uh, video editing. So with iMovie, you just import. It's as easy as take your phone, take your cord, plug it in, just like you would back up photos and video to your computer, upload it that way, and then you would uh, be able to drag and drop them or import them into your iMovie. And it's very simple to use. This could be something, depending on how old your kids are, get them doing it with you. Because I had my kids, you know, they used to edit a lot and they really loved it. And they had some great ideas that made my videos that I did even better. So in short, don't worry if you don't have the money. The time is more important when you're with them. Be there, be creative, do something with them that's special. Create that memory. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'd love to hear your comments as well on ideas that you have that you can put out there that it doesn't have to be around making videos but just creative ideas that you've done as a single parent without spending a lot of money. Something that your kids have loved. And this is gonna help everybody who watches this video. So please comment below with your ideas. I'd love to see them. And if you got value out of this video, please like it and subscribe. 
in order for me to get this out to more people with the YouTube algorithm, it goes by engagement. How many people comment, how many people like it, how many people are subscribing. I feel like this is valuable. I hope you do as well. Virtually yours, Andy.